Last week, we broke down the smart shell coverage, which I think is the best bunch coverage shell in, in general, three by one defense in the game. And we talked about the delayed super press and we talked about the secondary coverage rules for safeties when they are on the running back. But what about other players on the field? Is there value in knowing what they will do if the player they are guarding blocks? Let's get into it. What is up guys, Dan from the Zamad YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about advanced coverage adjustments and why pro players will do this little X or cross man or seam side cross man as it's better known as and what it does to help your defense out. So here we are on the field here. And one thing that you frequently see in Madden is players that will do this little X man. And the reason that they do this is that typically the running back is such a quick throw to the flat that man to man from a linebacker on that player is really, really tough. You also factor in that a lot of times in bunch, players basically don't run a ton of C routes anymore because it's a pretty commonly adjusted to meta at this point. So they'll typically run something over the middle like a slant, a backside drag, a dig, maybe a skinny post. But traditionally what they look for is the ability to throw quick in the flat because they're reading the inside linebacker. Basically what's occurring is when the ball snapped, they read that linebacker and if he steps in the bucket, it is a cue to take the yardage in the flat. And if they aren't ready for it, having the outside corner manned up on this player is a recipe for a pick six. So if you key in on that adjustment as an offensive player, you actually will be able to throw the ball deep down the outside to that particular receiver that is manned up by the linebacker. But again, a lot of players aren't looking for that. You also factor in that a number of players are starting to go to the safety nickel packages to get outside third adjustments on their safeties. I wonder who popularized that. And the reason that they do that is so that they can do the man coverage that they seek but still also have the ability to keep a third over the top of a C route in the event that they actually do try to run one of those. In fact, we've seen a lot of players that run basically a wheel and then some sort of C route. Well, the ability to run these little cross man situations is gonna give you the ability now for the outside third to be there and you have to pass lead that into the sideline where you're probably not gonna get two feet in. So a lot of players are gonna start to do this little X man or same side cross man with outside thirds over the top. But what about the threat of the blitz, especially when it comes to the dollar meta? As we know, the dollar meta is extremely popular because it baits the running back into blocking. So let's take an example of the play here, Y curl. One of the more, I would say, popular switch exchanges in the game is this little slant go by Jerry Rice with the wheel route. And your traditional same side cross man would involve Barry and man to man on the outside receiver while the outside corner is manned up on the running back. And if we actually were to kind of show you, you see how those man to man assignments cross. That's why you hear a lot of people say same side cross man or X man coverage on that side. Now, again, if they put the safety package, they could probably put an outside third here. But with that dollar meta, it baits the running back to block a fair amount and understanding exactly what your player is going to do if his man blocks is super, super key. So what I want you to watch here is what happens when this corner who's manned up on the running back now no longer has to guard the running back because he's blocking. So we set this up here and you see that he immediately latches on in man to man on that outside receiver. The question here is, if we're gonna use her, the weak side linebacker, we don't necessarily need to man up that player we really just need this guy in man-to-man -man on the running back because we basically, if we're going to use her, are going to go wherever we want anyways. We're basically responsible for the left flat, the left seam, post coming from the right side, depending on how you have your zone coverage set up off the right. But if they block the running back with the intent being to block dollar, and then they're running whatever from the backside, maybe it's just a drive combo or whatever, now we're in a situation where I don't have to worry about that. I can now guard over here, back to here, while the pressure is collapsing around the running back, who is not really doing a whole heck of a lot. And the same can be said of manning up the running back with the slot corner. Let's say, for example, that we think there is a pretty substantial chance that they're going to block the running back. We have the running back staying in the backfield. Now we can play a hard flat on the outside of that receiver because if the running back stays in, He's gonna match that receiver, allowing me as a user to now be deeper in the seam, help out, 
on posts, on crossers, on anything else that I want, because all I'm doing is keying the running back. So in this situation, once that running back blocks, I know that I don't have to worry about anything that the receiver on the left is doing. My user can actually cheat over to the right side of the field. However, if the running back does run a route, we've got man to man on it. We also have a hard flat on the outside on the left. And I know that that receiver is somebody that I would have to peel back and guard. So understanding the secondary rules of players that are in man coverage on the running back is very, very important no matter what it is that you run. We created a smart shell coverage that has the safety guard the middle of the field. So we leave the middle of the field wide open and bait the running back to block because if he blocks, we close the one hole in our defense. That's in the smart shell video. Now all of a sudden you can kind of create your own smart shells based off of what you want to do with your individual man ups. It doesn't have to be a safety. You just need to understand what that player is going to do if the running back stays in the block. So hopefully this helps open up your mind towards hybrid coverages in Madden 23, what you guys can do to improve your coverages. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below as always. If you guys want more, head over to my strategy website, www.gridirongameplans.gg. Hands down the best value in the tip space in Madden. $9.95 a month unlocks the entire website. That's well over 200 vault videos, all of my offensive and defensive game plans on the website, as well as lab sessions inside our members only Discord. $9.95 a month unlocks everything and we're constantly updating it even while other players are leaving to go play baseball. Until tomorrow, guys, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.